All right. Hello. Um, this is my first video review that I've done ever, but I just got back from watching Pokemon The Power of Us in theaters, and so I wanted to make a review on it. If you have any uh, uh, recommendations or how I should do better in the future, let me know in the comments, but this is my first one, so let's give it a go. All right, so yeah. This will be a mostly spoiler-free review. I'll get to uh, some spoilers and specifics at the end, but I'll let you know when that comes. When uh, Lugia pops up on the screen, when I talk about um, Lugia and I show a big picture of Lugia, that's when you know I've gotten into the spoiler ter territory. So just a heads up. All right, let me start off um, with what happens before you watch the movie. Uh, so for me, the movie started with two episodes of Generations. Um, Generations is like the YouTube series that they had, Pokemon had about two years ago on uh, their YouTube channel. Um, I'm certain I had seen one of them before, so they weren't exclusive, and you can probably just find them online. Um, I just saw two of them. It felt kind of random just have them shoved before the movie. Uh, probably should have had them running beforehand, but they didn't. Um, but afterwards, it turns out, Apparently, they were supposed to be showing beforehand, along with a few other things that um, my movie theater skipped out on. Apparently, they're supposed to show off the opening for the TV series, Who's That Pokemon segments, some cool Jigglypuff Pikachu segments, and then go into the Pokemon Generations, like, before the movie started. But they just skipped all that for me, so, yeah. Uh, but one thing they did do is they showed off some cool things with the uh, Detective Pikachu. They had, like, a behind-the-scenes look and talk with the director. Um, but first he talked about Pokemon and how he had directed the first 20 Pokemon movies and how this is the first one where he was just the art director instead of the director. Then they brought in the Detective Pikachu director, and they talked and conversed, and it was cool. And they um, talked about Detective Pikachu and being in the real world and showed some behind-the-scenes stuff from Detective Pikachu, which was really cool weren't any Pokemon because they were all CG, but it's really cool to, uh, uh, like, the, they had the main actor there from the trailer, uh, and it was really cool to see that. Uh, so yeah, then the movie starts, um, and I'm just gonna go, th uh, uh, just say what I think about the movie. Um, so the movie, um, starts off really well. It uh, starts off with a new character, um, and the interesting uh, thing is in the beginning, um, it's all good, interesting, uh, then we get into like the school segment, um, um, I don't want to say anything, because I don't want to spoil it, but they, it's, it's fun for like the beginning, just like fun, and introducing you to the characters, and getting to know everyone, then they have another fun segment, and then it kind of gets boring for a little bit and you kind of like uh when this is getting boring then it kicks it back up um and then it go keeps going and then the ending of the movie the end of the movie and the climax and all that's great so yeah so i was only bored for a, a portion of the movie um which is a lot to say for pokemon movies seeing as uh they haven't always had the best track record for being the greatest um so, I should say where I'm coming from this. I haven't seen the Pokemon anime, or... Well, I have seen it, but I haven't watched the Pokemon anime, like, actually watching all the episodes, uh, for quite a while now. Um, but I was still able to jump right into this. Even if you haven't seen the anime very much, you'll be able to jump into this. The only thing you really need to know is, who is Ash? But he hasn't changed in 20 years, and his only Pokemon he brings with him in, in the entire movie is Pikachu. So you don't have to know anything beforehand. You can just go into this knowing, hey, I know who Ash is. Alright, let's watch this movie about Pokemon. So yeah. Um, the art style for this movie was really good. I enjoyed the art. I thought it looked really cool. Um, one thing to note, though, is that they often had 3D models of people and Pokemon. I get it when you do like do like 3D models, usually in cartoons or anime, of like a big building or a ship or um, something like that. They had like people and uh, Pokemon walking around in the background, and if it's like foreground or middle layer or way background where they're just like little circles, 
they're all hand drawn. But for some reason, there was a like, segment where they had like a section where they're like far enough away, not too far, but not too close, where they were like 3D models walking around and 3D models of Pokemon. I thought that was really weird, and I didn't really like it. Kind of clashed with the style. Um, one thing, though, that I really enjoyed about this movie was the soundtrack. The soundtrack was amazing. I was watching this movie, and I was like, man, that soundtrack is amazing. Uh, found out later, that's because this is the first Pokemon movie in a long time that actually has kept the Japanese soundtrack and not the English one, and not, like, redone it for the English release. So I think that explains a lot. Uh, so yeah, you can see here, they introduced some new characters. Uh, you got... A classic Ash, but we got the new characters here, here, here. Got her with her Eevee. They made sure to have Eevee and Pikachu for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Here's the American logo. Um, this is a Fathom event, uh, so it's only in theaters for four days. I saw it on the second day, so at the time of watching this, you only have two days left to watch this. Uh, so after that, um, I heard that it's going to go on. Uh, Disney XD at some point, so if you miss it in theaters, uh, check for it there. But I'd consider getting going to it in theaters if I were you. Um, so I think I will. Oh, before I go into the, the characters, I want to say I don't think this is connected to the anime at all, like the um, Sun and Moon anime. I haven't seen it, but I know it has a different art style than this. And um, I don't think it's connected at all. So just want to put that out there in case you're wondering. Um, and yeah, so let's jump into the characters. Um, Ash is the same as you've ever seen him. It's, it's Ash, Ash Ketchum. Um, now this is Risa. Risa is a new character for this. Um, she comes to visit the, the town. Personally, I didn't really like her character. I thought she was a bit bland. Um, she didn't really add much to the story. And um, she really felt missing and lacking in, um, in the movie. Um, so yeah, I personally wasn't the biggest fan of her. Uh, Margo was a good character. She was a good friend of the Pokemon, the new Pokemon introduced in this, Zerora. Um, and I enjoyed her character. I thought... She she was interesting and it uh, was important to the story. All right, Torin. Torin is an interesting character. He's all right. Um, he's not the best character ever. Um, I think he's pretty good. He is a bit forgettable, uh, a bit bland. Um, but overall, I enjoyed his character and his personality. Harriet is a really good character. They knocked it out of the park with her. Uh, she has some great character development throughout the movie, and I really enjoyed uh, seeing her. And then Callahan. Callahan is a great character. Probably between her and Harriet, he's my favorite character. Those are my two favorite characters. He's probably my favorite character in this movie. Really enjoyed him. Uh, he has his niece, which he always tries to impress, um, who is on the island. And I really enjoyed his character. He he goes through some good character development. Really enjoyed this character. Uh, next is Zerora. Zerora is the new Pokemon for this uh, movie. Really liked Zerora. I uh, thought he was a cool Pokemon. I really love his design. I went to the movie specifically to see Zerora because I, I like him. And I thought he was a good character. They actually made him a character. He's not just like, oh... Pokemon, he's here, he does things. So yeah, a good character. Alright, now we get into spoilers. Dude, 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 warning, warning, spoilers, spoilers. Um, uh, but before I completely dive into spoilers, this is only a minor spoiler, um, but if you're going to see the movie in theaters, remember to stick around uh, after the credits. This is the first Pokemon movie in a long time that actually has a post credits scene so make sure if you're um, interested in seeing that I'd recommend sticking around uh, uh, not first Pokemon first Pokemon movie since the very first one sorry that has had a post credit scene um, 
So yeah, make sure to stay around so you can uh, see that. Anyways, now into the spoilers. Uh, Lugia was part of the advertising, but he literally only shows up to save the day right at the very end with his powerful wind gusts. Um, so yeah, um, the most, the funny thing is, Team Rocket actually caused the trouble this time. I'm gonna get into the plot now, more of the specifics. So, um, yeah, movie starts out with uh, Risa coming to the town and meeting the characters, and um, they uh, go through, um, so after meeting, sorry, after meeting each other and kind of meeting up, they're all on their separate paths, uh, they all kind of meet paths at this Pokemon catching competition. Uh, where they catch Pokemon, and that was the scene I was talking about, which I found really fun. I really enjoyed that scene, um, and then, yeah, beforehand, though, when I was talking about them just walking around the city, yeah, they just walk around the city, really enjoyed, the art style and music there was the best. That's when I was telling you about the music, oh, yes, that music was amazing. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, because I don't want to get po copyright striked, um, but yeah. Amazing. Please go listen to it. Amazing. Um, there's specifically one song that I just want you to listen to because I love that song. Um, again, art style, great. Uh, then they get into um, this Pokemon catching competition. Really fun scene. Really enjoyed that. Um, then after that, the movie kind of slows down, blah, bogs up a bit. Um, but then eventually Team Rocket causes some trouble, uh, blowing up a bomb from kind of from the um the scientist dude Torin um and that's really when the plot starts picking up and they have to stop that and they have to return the crystal um because the the fire uh, the internal fire actually goes out too um and it actually ends up going into becoming a really fun movie so yeah the um overall um and then yeah they go through that save Pokemon from fires, um, and then Lugia shows up for five seconds, saves the day, and that's it. Overall, I thought it was a great movie. I could get into more specifics with other characters and stuff, but I think I'll just leave it at that. So thanks for checking out this review. If you have any other questions, uh, let me know. This is my first time uh, doing this, so it's not really uh, structured well. Uh, if you want me to um, add more to this or change it up. Yep. Again, just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.